It's about 45 miles from Cleveland to Vermilion, home of the Dick Goddard Woolly Bear Festival. We're going to show you some parts of Vermilion today that might be described as the town's best kept secret. Welcome to Linwood Park, a gated summer resort that was built by an evangelical group in the late 1800s, copying the religious campgrounds at Chautauqua Lake, New York. The park, consisting of over 60 acres, is located on a bluff overlooking Lake Erie and what is now the Vermilion Lagoons. It uh, was founded by some business uh, men as well as church leaders who were looking for a beautiful spot, uh, as I understand it, both from Ohio and Pennsylvania, who wanted to find a place for their summer assemblies. How many cottages? There are uh, 140 seven, 48 cottages now, um, individually owned. We have a website, linwoodpark.org, and um, the cottages are all uh, listed. Many of them are pictured, and um, you call the owner individually. I spent most of my summers as a boy growing up here at Linwood Park. In fact, here I am in a photo in 1942, wearing my uncle's helmet and goggles from his barnstorming years. He'd gone off to fight in World War II. The tabernacle is mostly unchanged and is still used for religious services and special events in the summer. The stand is another iconic building, a combination ice cream stand and souvenir shop. Now the only place in the park that offers sleeping rooms for a single night stay or even longer. And tell me a little bit about the rooms. Well, the rooms are very unique. They, they're not your typical motel room or hotel room, but they will take you back to early days at Linwood. Uh, we have um, about eight, nine rooms with a, the original sink in each room. There are two uh, public restrooms up there, but they're very reasonable and very well maintained. The beach at Linwood Park is probably its most popular attraction. It's probably the main reason that many people came here in the first place. There is now a museum craft shop in what was once a general store in the park. For years it sat abandoned and in disrepair. And in the last four years we have turned it into a craft um, museum. The art is from the local the folks? The artists are all from Linwood okay. and, um, or associated with Linwood. If you'd like to visit Linwood Park, you can leave your driver's license at the gate for an hour and a half and it's free. However, if you'd like to spend a day or a week, then there is a nominal fee. For the families that keep coming back here summer after summer, Linwood Park, as their motto says, is truly a place in the heart. The Mystic Bell, a mock paddle wheel cruise boat, offers daily tours of the nearby lagoons and Vermilion River. It's another way to see this resort community. Our captain is Don Parsons. Well, the lagoons were started uh, during the Depression years of the 1930s. L.A. Wells, a marine contractor from Cleveland, purchased about 157 acres of marshland and started digging four waterways. Each one of the waterways is named after one of the Great Lakes. The cruise, which lasts nearly an hour, takes you by water past some of the most beautiful homes in the lagoons. You might even get to see some wildlife along the river's edge. One of my favorite fish restaurants, the Jolly Roger of Port Clinton, has opened a new location in Vermilion. The perch and the walleye that they serve were recently swimming in Lake Erie. And be sure to try the onion rings. Vermilion, Ohio, a place for fun in the sun this summer. And best of all, it's just a one-tank trip. I'm Neil Zerker. <laughs>